Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. It's a beautiful fall day here in the Appalachian Mountains in the second week of October. And I'm excited to show you something really unique. It's an orchid that's flowering right now, which is really special because the leaves are really at their peak and changing. And here is a flowering orchid in the state of Virginia that is in full bloom. So check out this episode on Nodding Lady Tresses, a flowering orchid that is in full bloom this late at this time of the year, right here in the Appalachian Mountains. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So I'm here at my cabin and pond on my land in the Appalachian Mountains of Southwest Virginia at about 2,700 feet. And I promise I'll do a, a video all about the cabin and the pond construction. But what I wanna show you today are these amazing flowering, nodding tr lady tress orchids that are flowering right here next to my pond. And it's so cool to see them. Because the orchid family is a really big family, but most of the orchids are known as being tropical. And here is a true orchid species that's flowering right along my pond in pretty big numbers. These orchids typically have grass-like leaves, <laughs> but you can see here, tracing down the stem, all the leaves have gone and have already wilted and faded away leaving just these flowers. These flowers will stay in bloom for almost a month. And again, making them really unique. Most species of orchids are not fragrant, but these orchids have a very delicate fragrance. These orchid species are known to grow in wetlands and often come up in disturbed places. They generally don't compete well with other plants and when other plants become established they'll fade away. So these plants growing next to my pond obviously have live in very very moist soil but they're also found in arid places. While not necessarily a rare or endangered plant it does seem to be very picky about where it grows. And you won't find it everywhere, but when you do find it, you often find it abundantly, like here. Lady tresses will reproduce by rhizome. So many of these plants are probably all connected together. In addition to spreading by rhizome, these flowers will produce tiny, tiny windblown seeds. They're so small that they're pretty much of no nutritive value to birds and other wildlife. And the seeds lack the typical kernel of carbohydrates, starches, and fats that are there to prepare the seed to grow into a new plant. So how do these seeds make it? They have to fall in the soil with a particular kind of fungus that wraps around it where the mycelium will form a symbiotic relationship with the seed and without that fungus this seed would not be able to germinate. A close-up look at these flowers and you see the characteristic landing pad that orchids have and orchid flowers come in such great variety and with very, very specific adaptation. Orchids are a group of plant species that have been on the planet for a long, long time. And they have evolved very, very specific symbiotic relationships between the insects that pollinate them. The flowers often attract insects by their shape and form, but nodding lady tresses have a fragrance to attract insects as well. This unique spiraling, almost staircase-like arrangement of flowers is said to provide bees a way of moving up flower to flower, step by step, starting at the bottom and moving their way up. The most nectar is on the flowers on the bottom. Nodding lady tresses are known to be pollinated by at least three different species 
of bumblebees. It gets its name nodding because the flowers nod or lean down towards the ground. Tresses refer to this braid-like structure where it looks like braided hair. The scientific name Spiranthes means spiraling and of course refers to the spiral arrangement of the flowers on this plant. The bottom part of this flower has this unique, almost crystalline-like look to it. They're really fascinating to look at and see close up. To me, it's always fascinating to really stop and smell the roses, as they say, and look at flowers close up with a magnifying glass or a close-up camera. And it's just amazing to look in these flowers. Nodding lady tresses, of course, were well known to the indigenous peoples of the Americas, and they used them in several medicinal remedies. One of them was used for treating urinary tract diseases. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door here in the Appalachian Mountains on this beautiful fall day. If you like what I do, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me spread the word. And definitely check out my playlists. I cover everything from insects to amphibians, turtles to snakes, fungi to trees, wildflowers and ferns. I cover just about everything. And now I have over 200 episodes for you to check out. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Toy.